Pair one. Search kick. Block two. Dang it, man. Trigger happy havoc. All right, so we last left all. We were about to go to the opening ceremony and probably get screwed up. So we're still in the prologue. I mean, naturally, I, I expect this to be like five episodes long before I even get to chapter one. Because apparently this game is long as fudge. So let's just keep rolling. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so before anything, I do want to talk to these guys again. Crap, what the heck kind of game are they playing? I know, right? Oh, oh there we go, there we go. Woo. Oh, let's look at the stuff. I like to explore stuff. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? <laughs> Malarkey. This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. Alright. There's a TV. School is okay. I already said that. Alright, we got trophies popping around over here. I can't look at them. Okay. Oh, we got this. It's like a giant safe or something. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? Looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, the right? The door is definitely not here before then. I totally... I, you know, I paraphrase sometimes. Not because I want to, but because I accidentally do that. Because I, I want to read, but I don't want to bumble through. So... I just kind of naturally fill in words here and there. What the heck? Is this some kind of bad joke? Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me? Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Well... Uh, are you okay? Is everyone okay? Right, anything else to look at? I don't think so. I thought that was a microwave at first, but it's definitely not. I am not cooking my hot pocket right now. I'll have, to, I'll have to wait. Mailbox. There's nothing inside. Okay. All right. Um. So I think we're gonna get the floop out of here. So let's do that. Leave the area. Yes, please. All right. So cool, dude. All right. Um. So the gym. I saw the gym earlier. Right over, it is over here, okay. Woo! I love how they make up the setting. That's so cool. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. Dude looks like the dude from the Fifth Element. <laughs> okay, freaking what, Chris Tucker, right? Okay, sorry. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Heh, <laughs> this place is even worse. Um, and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Uh, They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down there, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, well, heck. It ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's get it over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, we're... Whoever called us here. Mondo, stop. No running. Well, really? I too shall go. <laughs> hey, hey, don't leave me here all alone. Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. The tab key. Oh, snap. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Cool. I love, I love how they, they, they did this. Okay. All right, let's talk to Sayaka. Um, You're so cute, Sayaka. Look, I'm sorry. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Like, will she say something different? Um, okay, no. I I wasn't sure, because with Pagamir, you can get people to say different things. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Maybe I'm just imagining that. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. All right. Oh, she blocked it. No, I, okay. I thought she blocked my question mark. Display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. All right. Um. So 
the TV. Are, are they going to say the same thing? Okay. This school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Oh boy. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. People! Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, I told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hiro was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Bear? You're darn right. I'm not a teddy bear. Okay, you're darn wrong. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Can I voice act you at least once? It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Uh, nice to meet you too, bro. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? What? The best Eddie Bear can talk! I wonder if those two are the same voice actor. Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey! Come on now! I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? what? Seriously, man, calm down. That's probably just a remote control toy or something. <laughs> Dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the vo the folks at NASA can't recreate it or recreate it or even comprehend it. <laughs> ah, but don't make me say stuff like might like, destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that! <laughs> oh man! Bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we must hurry and get started. Oh. Getting up already? No other stupid bear puns? <laughs> now then. Quiet down now. Quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Huh. He has abandoned the gag. <laughs> Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And all hail goes hey, You hear me? Good morning! <laughs> this first one, good morning. You have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, ah, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life, there isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die, such is the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck? You're just saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I'm not screwing with you! I am no liar! Of that you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world, so you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land behind these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates over the school? They're to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're for! No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the heck is this? I don't care if it's school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn yeah, cut this crap out. This isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. 
And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You've decided your own free will to attend Hope Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know. I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. R really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. <laughs> You should have called it the Bear Claws! Um, I'm sorry. They're, they're, they probably uses that pun later. I don't know. Now, let me tell you about this fun little role. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another. Murder? Yes, Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, ignoring, how you do it, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it all you give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone or you must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get, m get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find it so darn exciting! What the hell? What the heck are you talking about? To kill each other? Is It's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering up with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. I just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? Yeah. And you can kill as much as you want to kill! So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree! <sighs> Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the heck out of us. You can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right. right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like, dude, dude, shut the heck up and get out of my way. Shoving hero aside, Mundo placed himself in front of Monica, M Monokuma. Because I'm sure in Japanese it would be Monokuma, but I don't know. I'm gonna say Monokuma. His voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. <laughs> Listen up, a-hole. This, sh I almost said it. This crap's gone way too far. What the heck kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joe, what do you mean? Like, your hair? Hey, he's got a point a there. Ah, Mondo roared out. And then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He just decided to, like, headball him, and that would be like a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Ah, violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart A comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that god dang beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if a ferocity stunned him into silence or whatever, but without a word he did what was told. He threw Monokuma. I uh, Monokuma, I'm sorry. And as soon as he did. The heck? 
But that sure as crap wasn't a joke. It blew the heck up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. Matt. But you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma! What? There's another one? Damn. You son of a bee, you seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off for the warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who viol violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Th that's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then. Lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! Ta-da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Ahem, uh, yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep you on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You hear me say this a lot, but any violation of the school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial to have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? Well, I, I don't understand any of this. We, we had to li live here forever or c kill? What, what, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other is... Indeed. If we want to get out... Oh, excuse me. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stepped into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? That's... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Hm. Right now, it doesn't matter if it's real or fake, what matters is, so in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Mon Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deeper than each of us. By the way, this music, holy crap. Uh. Dun, dun, dun. Break it down like, break it down like, dun, dun, dun. Uh. D to the A to the N to the G to the A N R O N P A. That's Trigger Happy Havoc, let's play. Dun, dun, dun. We gotta kill somebody. I said, dun, dun, dun. It's gonna be bloody, like dun, dun, dun. this teddy bear is freaking crazy. Dun, dun, dun. I look at everything and everything is hazy. I kinda messed that up, but I don't give a flop. Okay. Each of us, seriously, this music is banging. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? Oh, 
Uh. And that was how my new school life began. The school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Surviving students. Everybody survived. Oh, man. This is going to be just despair filled. Oh, so I move on to the next chapter now. Okay. Well, let's do this. I got an item. Woo. Yeah, I'll save it. Why not? Alright, save that. Yep. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had to I had just to endure that weight. <sighs> Excuse me guys, it's so early. It's like eleven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Chapter one To Survive Daily Life. But as for for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp yeah. words. So, what are you going to do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her point of comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. Yeah. Right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. Don't yeah. forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please! Somebody hit me. I can't forgive myself. Someone hit me. Please, punish me. Huh? Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out, duh. What the... And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the heck out of him. But... But... But before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what, what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Crap. Alright. Fine. So then... then... Let's just hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Alright. Makoto Nagi. I have to turn on my e-book. The first... e-handbook, excuse me. The first thing that happened, or that appeared, was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up in front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. Oh, hi me guys, I'm so sorry. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on all of us. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, and is destruction of as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's face. Stop this is bullcrap. What the heck kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made any sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? 
Even anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. I'm talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It says that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we ha have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> but don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that sil silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Darn straight! Okay, let's let's all start looking around. <laughs> I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? <laughs> Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering a lot of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. W wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it could never happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... B but... <laughs> so I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like heck I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? The fudge is that supposed to mean? Such One it. tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. I'm gonna dead. kick your A. Stop it, we shouldn't what? fight. The F you just say? You some kind of goody goody little biatch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my effing dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch! F you. Wow. Oh. Did I get punched? He punched me. And I flew back into the team. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgotten. The kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it kind of finally cut, uh, cut out completely. When I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Is my dorm? Ugh. I got like a radio up in the corner, that's cool. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? Alright, you now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of inform information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to, to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Cool, I'm going to check the thing out. Cool. Okay. Presents. Do I have anything? Oh, crap. Alright. My report card. Do I have all A's? No, oh, just kidding. Okay, that's cool as crap, dude. That's cool. Okay, there's me. Okay. Alright. I weigh late as anything. Okay, why do they have chest size? Okay, that's cool. Um, oh, sorry. I keep doing that. I just want to check one more. I just want to see. Okay. Okay, alright. Man, I weigh more than all these people, probably. I feel bad. I'm like 160. Alright. Alright, let's, let's... There are the metal things. Some kind of metal play mounted here. There's my bed. I haven't seen anything particularly strange about the bed. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Screw that. I can't clean up crap. Okay. There's a thing here. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one of one to each of us. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I'm not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. I'm just, I'm not allowed to destroy the camera or 
mess with it at all. Hold on, does it say in the... Because I could just technically put something on it, right? What does it say? As is destruction of surveillance cameras. Oh, additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Okay, I got them. I could technically just throw a shirt on it or something. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? That's a good deduction. I better hang on to it for now. We'll throw it out. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trapdoor or hidden compartments or anything. Oh, I got a thing. Sweet. Alright, um... Some kind of monitor. Ugh. There's a piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says, Announcer for Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure you don't lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. For the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. <laughs> for the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be, an amp should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Right, can I look in the trash now and see the crumpled paper? All that's in the trash can is the paper I wadded up and threw away. <laughs> Screw that paper. Alright, did I get everything? That's a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that again. Oh, I can look in the drawer. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I better bring something with you. Alright. This would appear to be the bathroom. What's up with the door, though? Huh? It's not opening. Dude, it's like halfway open already. It's locked. Huh. Oh, I get it. It's part of the how the setting looks. Alright, let's go outside. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers my question. Next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Alright, so why would the door be locked from the inside? Yeah, okay. Alright, oh, we're good. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! Oh. Oh, Sayaka, I'm so sorry. Oh! Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on the stage. That's good then. Um... But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Oh, I'm fine, babe. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um, Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, well, listen. if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you'd come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it'd be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get it together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean... Does that mean it's almost time to get back together? That's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. We can't go together. Oh. Okay. Right. So that's my room. This is where I just came out of. I need a picture on the nameplate. There's no reason for me to go back inside. Alright. That is Sayaka's room. 
It looks like there's some kind of nameplate. The doors themselves all look pretty much the same. Okay. So, that's basically saying I don't have to check all these doors, right? Okay. Alright, I got them. So, yeah, there's... But I just want to see. Okay. What's this? I know I'm supposed to be on the dining hall, but I just can't help it. Everyone's meeting up with the dining hall. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. I like the little picture they have, too. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh. Ooh, laundry. Okay. Oh! The little forking thing. What's this? Ooh. I'll climb the heck over that. Oh, never mind. I thought it was to outside. I don't have any reason to go that way now. I should meet up with everyone at the dining hall. That's off limits, that sucks. Right, let's eat some food! Woo! This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Or, I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. No, well, actually, that could make it more important, because I'm prisoner. I'm, I'm prison here. The cleanliness makes it um, a much better stay. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I don't have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Some kind of. It's, it's kind of sudden, I know. But here comes a tutorial. Oh. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Oh, well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection, and the left mouse button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Oh, I did it! Okay. Ah, you've gone ahead and used it already. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps up. It keeps on moving forward. See, I I got them now. All right. Um, I'm not going to go wandering around. I'm just gonna wait here patiently. Okay, let's talk to her. All right, get ready for those purple hey, words. Um, By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um, well, it's just. And it's kind of continue. I wanted to. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. I don't get it. Why? Why am I picking for her? What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised. Is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> well, we went to the same school three years ago. For three years, of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. <laughs> What are you talking about? You're so strange. St strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm, I'm really not, if you say so. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> But you're the one that helped me find my courage again, not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. So let's all let's get out of here together. When she says thing, things like that, I it gets me pumped up, which is nice. But still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. I guess we're looking at the clock. 
But is there anything else that I can look at? Swank. Um, okay. Surround. I only worry about the surrounds count and all that. Swank. Okay. Uh, just want to look, look to the to the west a little bit, and we'll be done. Swank. Okay. All right. No, let's let's talk to her again, though. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to be our ultimate assistant. Let's do our best to get out of here. Okay. Just in case, you know. Um. So, what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look at the window, I've lost all sense of time. Can I see the window? What about to the right? What is that? Or is that just like a painting of a tree? It might be. If I had to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the do dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Ah, Makoto, Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad, I'm sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess it just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. <sighs> well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And so after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. She died. <laughs> no. Somebody killed her. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. It's possible? Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking thing. Darn it, Kyoko, you're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. Almost unbecoming... Un um, um, almost unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now that I declare the first session of the Hope Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I've really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Okay, that's a lot of people. I have to save, so I gotta find out how to save. I'm pretty sure it told me. Ah, here we go. Alright, so we're gonna end it right there. Did I save it? That was quick, okay. So, um... I don't know what's, what's up with Kyoko. But she might be a no-go or a no-show. Well, she is a no-show, so she might be a no-go now. And that would be an oh-no. But it's time for me to go-go. Right now, no. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Please be like this, like this, like this. <laughs> and as always, peace!